Hello and welcome to the Elsa B. Smith Show. I help people to understand the magic and the mystery of love and life so that they can regain control of them, themselves. What would you like to resolve? Well, today we have a lovely guest, Andrew Mondia, all the way from Las Vegas in the United States. And today's show is titled Confessions of a Pear-Shaped Pupil, How a Vipassana Meditation Gave Me Meaning. The show is named after the world premiere of Andrew's one pupil, a tribute to May this year. Andrew Mondia lives to inspire life, love, excitement, power and creativity. Andrew has had the pleasure to perform for Queen Elizabeth II twice at the opening ceremonies for both the 1994 Victoria Commonwealth Games and in the London 2012 Paralympics. Andrew is more as Santa Claus for Turner Award winning British artist Gillian Waring for a tongue in cheek cover shoot for the Guardian's 2008 G2 Christmas Special Edition. Well, that acting has taken him to both sides of the Atlantic since early childhood, and through these experiences, he's found his love and natural talent for making people. But he never knows where he's going to be next as he trusts in his spirit for God. He follows his passions. Number one, being an internationally successful actor who specializes in comedy. Laughter to the world through performances and works that he writes, performs in and produces. Andrew, how did your journey into meditation start? Um, well, I've always known that meditation is uh, something that we can all use. Um, and I just, you know, I started to meditate a few minutes a day here and there. Um, and um, uh, um, it's, it's from other people, hearing other people, how beneficial it is. And also uh, one is like when it's right for a person to do it, because, you know, not everyone's ready to, to try meditation, but there's many different yeah. forms of meditation. And yeah. probably, and what I realized recently is, you know, we probably all are meditating on some level. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's just, um, um, it's just something that, that just happened, really. I mean, it's just trusting your intuition, really. So you've, done, you've recently done, was it a 10 day silent meditation? Um, yeah, well, what I did is um, the, the, the Vipassana Meditation Retreat Center that I, um, that I went to, uh, I had actually heard about it uh, back in, when I was living in Vancouver, BC, Canada, uh, through a blog, uh, through someone's blog post. Uh, and it sounded really interesting. Uh, and, and, uh, and so I'd wanted to do it for such a long time. And then finally last year, uh, in uh, in January, end of January of 2016, I went and attended uh, attend this. It's a free 10 day meditation course, uh, and and so I I'd, I'd been pretty much uh, the past year. I knew uh, for for since doing it, I've been pretty much uh, uh, active um, and, and uh, going and attending and helping out at these 10 day courses. And how did you benefit from that? Is it really, do you really have to be silent all the time? Well, what it is, is it's, um, it's, a, it's, it's nine days of complete uh, silence uh, and it's introspective. You're going within yeah, yeah. yourself uh, mm -hmm. during, the, the ten, uh, during the 10 days. You're meditating. Um, the only people you can actually talk to uh, is the assistant teacher. That is, uh, um, and uh, the person that's in charge of your segregated group, because everyone is divided between men and women, and yeah. so you're with the men. Uh, depending on on your your sex, you're with that particular group. And if you have any yeah. issues, then you can talk to them. But they ask that you not, like you 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 keep your your talking to them to a bare minimum. Uh, you can ask questions. You can, uh, uh, and they have uh, um, in every every day there is um, a discourse uh, in the evening where you listen to uh, the founder, uh, um, Sanguenka, 
uh, who passed away a few years ago in 2013, uh, do a, a talk about what we we did that day, and 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 he tells these wonderful stories. But it's just uh, it was really um, it's just uh, it's kind of interesting. I never thought I could survive a 10 day silent meditation retreat, to be honest with you. And I survived yeah. compared to some other people who, who just, it's, it's too much for them. Cause you know, at the end of the day, uh, the nice thing about doing, uh, going to this 10 day meditation retreat is you are taking yourself outside from everyday life, uh, the hustle and bustle that we're in and you get to sort of, come back to yourself and uh, and open up a bit more and, and, and sort of get a clear perspective on, on whatever is going on in your life at that time. Uh, when I first did my 10-day um, my course, um, I was writing my one-man show and I was going through a period in my script in my one-man show and during my 10-day meditation, for some reason, I had an epiphany, uh, a realization, and you get very inspired when you go into silence and you don't talk because most people, we, we're talking so much yeah. that we don't have the chance to actually s listen to what other people are saying or to what our inner spirit is saying. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned that, that you actually managed the nine days. I, I can imagine it must be terrifying for some people, and, and people would go into it not really knowing what to expect and then be confronted with themselves and, and then just back off. Yeah, it is. It, it can be quite um, daunting. <laughs> it, can be quite, it, it can be quite fearful. Um, what, uh, what, and you know, I think a lot has to do with the ego because yeah. our, our ego, uh, it, it wants to protect us, but in this case, it's not protecting, it, it's not, it's doing harm because, um, what we're doing is really, we are, <clears throat> what we are doing is, is we are, are clearing away whatever issues we're having really. I mean, yeah. you're, you're sorting out. You're having a chance to actually um, peel away the onions to get to our authentic self, really. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm still scratching the surface when it comes to Vipassana. I'm not like, like I, I just, you know, I, I like since going back in September to the to these different centers, I've been like reading uh, a few different books. Uh, one is, uh, and I'm just. And, and just understanding more of what it's about. And, and uh, I just, you know, and I, I find that, you know, doing the, uh, it's, it's interesting because when I first did it, um, I had like, I always like, I mean, I still find, I mean, I still do it. I mean, uh, our mind is, is, is chatting a lot. It's like talking yeah, a lot. Yeah. And so that's what, what's, uh, what's going on. But I, I think it happens even when you do, your own like walking meditation there's in any meditation um but it, it's it's about um being in control of our own of our own power really so how do you manage to, to still your mind I, for many people that when i talk about to them about meditation that's the one thing that comes up how do i manage to clear my mind to still my mind did you well, need to do breathing? Did you need to focus on anything in particular? Well, what what it is is but but Pasna, it's all about um, uh, at first you get into the breathing. You're just breathing, so we're focusing on, on our breath and, and um, what's what's uh, what what's coming out. And so you just focus on the breathing, and you uh, list. You just serve. You just breathe, really, uh, and you, you close your eyes. And if you find that your mind starts to wander, you get back to your breath and you start to breathe. It's not okay. quite as um, it's very it's, you know, it may seem very complicated, but it's like, I mean, when I, I mean, 
we all start somewhere. It's just, you know, follow, like when it comes to going to these meditation retreats, they give instruction. They say, okay, this is what you, this is uh, for, I mean, uh, Greg, uh, the, it, the courses are um, audio recorded when Grandco was alive. So he's the one that's actually given the course, but then he has the people that are our assistants, uh, uh, a male and a female teacher that are actually there to uh, help anyone. And uh, so instructions are given throughout the course. And uh, so. Okay, and, and that, that help you to then focus on yourself? Yeah, it, it helps to focus. It's. Um, I mean, you, you're really just, you're, we, we, like when you're doing the, medit the, the retreat, one of the things is you're supposed to just pay attention to yourself, not look at other people, not engage, uh, yeah. because all it is, it's, it's about, this is about you. It's not about the person next to you, the person in, or the person beside you, the person in front or behind you. It's about <laughs> you. And, 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 and just getting in, into a, a still point. And, and, it, and I mean, I still am having, like, I've managed to get it where I can last. But yeah. it's, um, it, it is, uh, but I've, uh, I've gotten, I, I've made progress. That's all I can say. <laughs> okay. So when you did the first meditation, the, the first um, retreat, you mentioned that you had this epiphany. Is that was that because you managed to get your mind out of the way and, and did you well, have clarity on something that you struggled with, or did it just come to you? Well, I, I was, you know, I, I was ha I had so many thoughts going through my my, my mind, uh, and one of them was on um, on a particular point in my life, uh, uh, and I was in denial. I, I realized that I was, it was, I, I sort of. My epiphany uh, was about a denial. I was in denial of a certain part in my life, and mm -hmm. I moved from a denial point to an actual acceptance point. Okay. Um, and it was just something that uh, it, it took me almost, I guess, 30, uh, almost, close, almost 30 years. I would say it's not quite 30 years yet. In a few years, it'll be 30 years, but it, it was, it was uh, uh, at least 27 years. Uh, mm -hmm. I I had and it was uh, something to do with uh, my um, my teenage years um, yeah. about a point in my life and and I just uh, so um, I um, so but anyways um, so that's what it was okay and and then after you did the meditation after you left the retreat. Um, did you get any benefits from from having been there? Yeah, well, I, 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 it was I um, like on the tenth day, uh, you you get into this like alpha state, brainwave. Your your brain because you're you're meditating so much. I mm. mean, usually you just you, you're when you're meditating, you're only like if you're in the real world, it's like half an hour, an hour a day. In the morning, yeah. like, or you might do it twice a day it depends on uh, on your schedule um and you don't really get a benefit but then uh, I, I found that i got into the self estate and like because on the last day we were able to um also talk to other people uh mm -hmm. someone actually mentioned that uh, after uh one of the people that i connected with um he he he, he discovered something that um 30 days after you do your 10 day of a pasta meditation. Um, he says it's a very powerful manifestation period. So be careful. Okay. It's like, be careful what you wish for, uh, yeah. whether it's positive or negative. Um, it, it's also, you know, it's true in everyday life as well, because yeah. you know, what you put out is what you get back in. Yeah. But when you're, when your brain is so opened up, to whatever is going on, uh, it is uh, it is very powerful, and, and I had some powerful breakthroughs that happened afterwards. Like I came up with my sort of uh, advocacy of what I um, what I I, I I stand for, which is embrace your uniqueness. Yeah, uh, yeah. that that uh, and that that came uh, that was within the thirty day period. I mean, I was talking to um, uh, 
my or uh, uh, author friend. Uh, uh, she was uh, we were we were because she was saying, "Oh, what do you advocate for?" And and so it's just uh, you know you can have some really strong epiphanies uh, even about your life and what you want to change. Because sometimes you know people go in with like they can go with ailments and then they could find that oh it was just you know it was nothing. Their ailment was nothing. I mean, I had I, I know for a while when I was doing the meditation retreat centers. I was dealing with, uh, because of the sitting posture, they, they allow people if you can't to sit in chairs, but I've been, now I'm starting to find that I can actually, uh, uh, sit on a little, uh, wooden bench, uh, kneel on a wooden bench versus sitting on a chair because I don't have that, that pain that was in my lower back. And because a lot of the times when we have, uh, these different ailments, it's because of the mind. Yes, yes. Okay, so the, you, you leave the retreat in that alpha state and like you said, the first 30, 40 days are really, really powerful because you've, you've got this openness and you are just so ready to receive whatever you wish for. But then after that, I suppose you, you get back into the real world, you get, um, things get hectic again. How do you maintain that state? How do you keep going well, back they, to hey, um, uh, and, th and this, I have to be honest with you, I, I haven't been keeping up. What, what, what they do is they, they tell us that uh, in order to carry on with the practice, uh, do an hour in the morning and an hour at night. And there's actually uh, an, on, there, there's an audio that you can download. And, uh, uh, and um, so they, you, you, you do it in your own quiet space, have a quiet space and, and do your meditation. But that requires discipline. Um, it does require discipline. It's, it, it, it's uh, I mean, for some people, like for me, I, uh, it, it, it require it, it is, uh, it does require a lot uh, uh, self-discipline in, in doing it. Um, and um, I, I just, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't completely agree with you, Dave. <laughs> Uh, like for me, I have to be honest with you. Me, uh, I have challenges with self-discipline partly because I'm a very, I'm a very creative person. Yeah. And uh, I mean, just to go for the ten days and be there immersed for the ten days, I find I still find it beneficial, even if I haven't kept up fully with the practice. Um, mm -hmm. I, I wholeheartedly just, you know, it's just an, an, an it, it's just an enjoyable chance to to just get in touch with yourself and and then afterwards like you 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 get clarity i mean even if it's i mean it, it's like riding a bicycle once you understand what what's going on and it, you can pick up and 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 and, and, and you know you may it takes a, and and pick up and and take off where you left really mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's the problem for many of us, the discipline. And and I, I hear what you're saying in that during the retreat you were on you were on your own, you were facing yourself, but, but you had to be there, you committed. So maybe part of the solution is to have a a, a like minded meditation group where you put in, in that way put uh, you know, put some pressure on yourself yeah. to to be part of the group, even if you don't talk to the group at all during that hour. It, it, it is, uh, you know, I, I, I have started to tell people, you know, you're going to have issues that come up when you do this 10 day meditation. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, I, and I say, you know what, it's just a part of the process. Just work through it. If you have any problems, talk to the, the assistant teacher and uh, he'll, uh, he'll, uh, he'll be able to, to help you. I mean, it's not a place to go if you're uh, needing counseling or, or psychotherapy. It's a place to, to, it's about eradicating your uh, illnesses. It's about releasing uh, whatever, is, uh, whatever turmoil is going on inside yourself. It's about yeah. getting to that, as a, to that point of stillness where you, uh, where you, you, you know, everyday life won't be so bad as a, you won't like it, it's, you know, the, uh, I mean, that's another benefit is you're, you're very like, 
when you do it, then uh, some things that would bother you beforehand won't bother you now because you've already dealt with it. You've, uh, you've worked through it. And so... Yeah, not only that, when you get into that meditative state, it, it is as if you, you rise above the problem. And when you look down on the problem, you're no longer part of it. It, it loses its magnitude, it loses its emotional impact, and it just, it just becomes yeah. something to deal with. Yeah, that, that emotional charge is no longer there. I mean, to be honest with you, what, uh, when I came with this epiphany, uh, well, a bit, a bit was something that I, uh, I like, um, because I had been traveling before I went to the meditation uh, around and uh, visiting uh, relatives, and one of them is like a, a counselor, and I was talking to him about something that happened in my childhood uh, about my father, and uh, um, and it was like it, it was that, that that whole period around my meditation uh, retreat was about coming out of denial and you know which was nice is I didn't I I accepted the I accepted the truth of what happened but I wasn't angry at the person as a result of what uh, uh, of what I was accepting and coming out of denial because you know that that was such a long time ago mm -hmm. and, and we're at a different point uh, I'm at a different point in my life where it's like there's no need to be you know, it, um, it's 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 about finding that forgiveness within yourself as well, because a lot of the stuff that we all go through, it, it's to do with you know, it, we we for it, it's about for really the forgiveness because we we mm -hmm. are like forgiving ourselves or forgiving of the other person. You don't necessarily maybe have to talk to them, but you can just yeah. you know be at peace. Uh, yeah. and, 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 and just move on and, and, and enjoy your life and not have a certain event af affect us because we, we all live in this, like some of us live in, in, in certain aspects of our life. There's a, that victim mentality. Oh, well, so-and-so, uh, mm -hmm. like treated me really badly and uh, I'm not going to forgive him because you know what? It's unforgivable. It's mm -hmm. un like, you know, it's un I'm just like, but at the same time, we, you know, how is it really helping you if you're going to exactly. hold on to that anger? Um, yeah. So. Uh, now, being an actor, how has this experience helped you, helped you with, with your creative work, with your acting, with your writing? Um, well, I, it, you, yeah, go on. Like for, for, for myself, uh, it's actually, uh, in, uh, uh, it, well, like for instance, for my one-man show, the first, it, it's 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 uh, spurred creative ideas as to uh, what to, to to have in my show, what to write. Yeah. And uh, so I just um, uh, so I I just uh, um, uh, I, I use that creativeness. The only problem is uh, doing the ten-day meditation. We actually can't really write anything down. Um, mm. you're, 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 you're like everything is taken away from you that is electronic that's phone because we have to um uh because it's all because they're, they're the purpose of doing the 10 day silence meditation is to go inside yourself and not to to have contact with the outside world unless there is an emergency um <laughs> and so um but I actually have snuck in a notepad or someone actually, uh, someone on my first retreat, someone actually snuck in a notepad and, and, and wrote ideas down. Um, but afterwards, you, you'll have, it, it, it just gets you to a very creative state where you can okay, actually do a lot of work. You can, uh, I mean, it's just, and I mean, it can help, it helps in my creative process and also helps in the everyday life as well because there's, you know, whatever you uh, want to have happen, uh, you just make it, you just work on making it happen. Goodness, yeah, and that's take, me. And, that's easy. and, and it's taking easy. the steps, and taking the steps, because, you know, the law of attraction is all about uh, putting out what it is that you want. Um, and yeah. as I said earlier, it's like what you put out is what you get back in. So if yeah. you want, uh, and, um, and, you know, and, and, and listening to your inner voice, your inner guides, listen to your higher intuition to, to move forward, to get to where you want to go. Yeah. 
Yeah, that is fascinating. Um, I've got your website here. I'm going to put it on the screen where people can actually get hold of you. I, yeah, yeah, it is showing on the screen. I love this software. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where people can get hold of you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also on social media. Uh, so they can reach me uh, through uh, the various social media uh, outlets. I'm still working on my website. Uh, the basic of everything is there. I just, uh, I haven't gotten back to it because of uh, not being, uh, like since um, the middle of September, I, I chose to trust in the universe uh, to follow my dreams and uh, and soon it's going to be paying off. So I'll be going, uh, uh, I should be going back probably before uh, my show in Orlando happens in May. Um, so, but it, it's a basic idea and people can, there should be a way to contact me. Contact form is, should still should be oper operational on there. I just <laughs> and, and your name has just been on the screen, so they can find you on Facebook as well. Yeah, um, there's a fan page and a personal profile on Facebook. Uh, so you and both of them have um, a verified uh, check mark. Well, you've got this one-man show coming up. It sounds really, really exciting. If I didn't have a little bit of a transport problem, I would have been there. <laughs> so good luck with that. I, I really wish you all the best, all the luck in the world. And, and like you say, what, uh, uh, what, be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. I'm sure you wished for this and you got it. Well, I, I, I want to – the thing is, I did uh, – um, uh, when I was living in London – uh, and uh, for my five-year anniversary, I did a, uh, a, a, a version of a one-man show, but it was more of like a talking head. And this is more of an entertaining one-man show. And I incorporated uh, some Shakespeare monologues, changed some words, incorporated like uh, some lines from a Shakespeare monologue with lyrics. So I'm doing both of my own lyrics and Shakespeare mixed in. Um, I've... Uh, I've um, so it's like to, to see or not to see uh, all the world's a stage and uh, oh Romeo uh, I forgot what the, the rest of it is it's on my uh, poster for my one man show but I took the oh Romeo monologue from Juliet and uh, am I in love with this guy I think it's what I, I, I uh, put in the little uh, poster box but I, I haven't uh, uh, but um it's just, uh, and I, who knows, I might come back to uh, 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 England, to London particularly, and, and perform in, uh, 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 in London. Uh, um, I know I need to come back and, and visit you. And everyone else, it's like, I, I, I just, you know, wherever I go, I meet people, and uh, it's nice. Uh, I mean, Facebook is nice because we're all connected with each other, and I even... Uh, I'm connected with some people from the uh, meditation center and uh, you have, um, you know, there, um, the, uh, how much, how much longer do we have? Uh, we've got a few minutes. I'm, I'm in charge. That's the good news. Okay. Yeah, I know. I just, <laughs> I'm just, I, I just wanted to let you know, uh, cause one, one of the things about, um, you know, the, the Vipassana meditation, it's all over the world. And it's a nice way to connect with people who have done it. And there's a there's a support community. After you've done the 10 days, you're like an old student. So you can go back and you can um, like meet, uh, like on the last day, like the 10 day, we, when, we, when we start to talk to each other and we start to, uh, we can be, uh, we can talk to the other sex because, and, and yeah. you, you yeah. meet wonderful people. I mean, you can make some wonderful contacts even sometimes if, if you're nearby where you live and, and yeah. you can, uh, you, you never know where opportunities come and where, where you meet people. I mean, I, it's, it's amazing how I've met people uh, through the different channels of events that I've attended. And yeah. it's just, you know, it, you're, you're even more opened up when you do the 10 day meditation because you're op more open to receiving what is coming to you and that that's what's most important is is be open even in your everyday life be open to what is going on in your life and um and i think it's just uh, i i just really enjoyed it there is a book called the art of living by william hart and it actually yeah, yeah. is 
like pretty much what goes on in the uh, it's a little bit more in depth but it it's a uh, if you're if you're unsure uh you can read that book uh i'm not like i i read it and i just enjoyed it because it 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 goes through the 10 day meditation uh, the the talks the lectures and uh, it'll give you a, a better understanding or you go onto the website uh it's just a I just really love it. I just, you know, as an actor, as, as just in everyday life, I just, um, I, I've just sort of gotten into it and even uh, helping out and, and being of service. When you're of service to something, you're giving back. Uh, because uh, one thing to mention is going to these meditations, it's by donation at the end of the course. You don't pay for anything. Uh, it's a residential 10 day. You're not, um, uh, your uh, and because their purpose is for you to get your inner peace, your uh, so. Can you decide the name of the book again? The Art of Living, which which it's is the art, it? the Art of Living by William Hart, and it's H A R T. H A R T. Um, I, I read that book and I really I, and I found it was very um, uh, but you in, in one sense it might you know actually just going and doing it versus reading that book might be very uh, be, be better but I don't know I mean you could read that book beforehand so that way you at least you're prepared but then you're going to be hearing the audio version from Gwenka because it's pretty much what Gwenka talks about in his discourses <laughs> okay well, it's been an absolute joy talking to you again, Andy, and I, I will be not be careful what I wish for you. I wish you sold out events at the Orlando French Festival in Malaysia. Yes. And, Thank you and very and much. For and and yes. Thank you. It's been really lovely talking to you again. That's been Andy, Andrew Mondia. All the way from Las Vegas in the United States. Um, we've got another uh, another show coming up next week, which I will do, and the title is "I'll Alter Him: How to Change Your Spouse After the Wedding." Now, if you want the secret of that, watch again next week Sunday at four o'clock London time. I'll see you next week then. <laughs>